I am such a huge fan of the ragdoll cat breed. Not only are ragdolls a big, gorgeous looking cat, but they have some really, really heartwarming behaviors. Just a wonderful personality. A ragdoll cat's personality or their behavior is really just one of the reasons that people are attracted to this wonderful breed. They are known for some particular behaviors and personality traits, however. Hello, my name is Catherine and welcome to Ragdoll Love. We're the Ragdoll Cat channel that's all about getting to know the ragdoll breed and helping you raise your ragdoll cats to be the best they can be and live a long, healthy life. These are just some of the typical behaviors of the ragdoll breed. Let's dive in and get to know the ragdoll breed just a little bit better. They lie in very undignified positions. Ragdolls can make a great companion and they make a constant companion. It's not unusual for this breed to follow you throughout the day in your home whether you like it or not. Ragdolls are very interested in what their people are doing and they long to be with them as much as they can. They really do dig their people and they're quite personable. It's pretty common in my home to open a closed door and find one of my boys sitting and waiting for me on the other side of the door. I'm sure you've heard that ragdolls can be floppy. This breed is probably the most famous for going floppy and limp when they're picked up or when they're relaxing. And there's something that you should know, and that is that not all ragdolls are floppy. They are not all floppy cats. All of my ragdolls have been floppy cats for the most part, but they like to flop when they choose they want to flop, which is not all of the time. This is Zizi, and he's my sealed bicolored ragdoll, and he is a pretty good flopper most of the time. He likes to be draped over my shoulder and carried around actually like this. He's quite a heavy cat, so this is um, a good way that I can support him. But he, he is a pretty good flopper. <laughs> Ragdolls are a gentle, soft-spirited cat, and they are generally pretty good with kids. Generally speaking, they do have a gentle, sweet way about them. I find this breed tends to be a little bit on the docile side, which perhaps makes them seem a little bit more gentle and forgiving than the average cat. But no doubt about it, the ragdoll does love being around their people. So if you're considering adopting a ragdoll, be prepared to have a new best friend night and day, whether you want to have a friend night and day or not. For the most part, ragdolls get along pretty well with other family pets. So if they're carefully transitioned into your home, they normally will get along with other cats and dogs in your household. My ragdolls actually consider Jack, my rescue cat, 
as their big brother and they absolutely adore him. like to play and have fun, just like any other cat. However, I have learned with my ragdolls over the past that they play really hard. When they dig their heels in, they go hard. And I, and I think that might be because of their size and their weight. For example, when they're jumping or playing, uh, sometimes they play uh, hockey. They find a toy and play hockey through the night. And there is a lot of action and a lot of noise when they decide to get active through the night. So, and again, I think that's just because of their size. They make a lot of noise when they play and bang toys and swoosh toys around the floor. And finally, my absolute all-time favorite personality trait of the ragdoll breed is that great, laid-back, chilled-out attitude that they present.
But remember, not all ragdoll cats will have these traits. Some of the cats will have some of the traits, some may not have any at all. Genetics, upbringing, varying circumstances, and just the individuality of each cat will determine their behaviors and their nature. So my advice is not to adopt a ragdoll cat expecting your cat to behave like the cats that you see in this video or like any other ragdoll cats that you might see on the internet or on YouTube doing these super cute things or behaviors that are supposed to be typical of a ragdoll cat. However, if you adopt a ragdoll cat from a quality breeder, who focuses on breeding the desirable traits of a ragdoll, your chances will be even greater that your cat or kitten will actually possess some of these desirable qualities. But do be prepared to accept your ragdoll just as he is, because there are no guarantees for how the cat will develop as the years go on or how the cat will act. They may not be perfect in appearance, or have all of the typical ragdoll traits, but these qualities are not so important for a wonderful and loving pet. So, if you adopt a ragdoll, it should be forever. Your home should be his forever home without any question whatsoever. Just love them as they are, because one thing for sure, they will love you just the way you are. What personality trait do you like best about the ragdoll breed? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give your ragdoll cat some love today.